innocent consumer. Criminal charges. Uh, that's the situation Tim Timothy Haining found himself in when he was stopped by the Grove City Police Department. Imagine, imagine being told when you're pulled over that you have warrants for your arrest against you in Colorado and Michigan for not registering as a sex offender. You know there's definitely a mix-up. You know you're not that guy. Mr. Haining will explain this uh, and tell you a little bit about what happened to him. Thank you. Uh, finding out you've been uh, a victim of identity theft is frightening. And uh, you immediately start to wonder how extensive the damage is and what all uh, may come of the situation. For me, um, in January, I was pulled over at a traffic stop by a Grove City police officer. And uh, he informed me that when he ran my information, my social security number, there were several warrants for my arrest, including uh, failure to register as a sex offender. Um, Thankfully, the officer uh, checked out all the information further, did not arrest me at the time. Um, he instructed me that the Attorney General's office uh, has a department to help people like me clear up these issues. Uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I completed the necessary paperwork, got a police report, turned it in, um, and in a mere couple weeks, uh, Ms. Kennedy contacted me, uh, described the necessary steps that she had already taken to clear the warrants for my name so that, uh, so that I won't have any more problems in, uh, in the future. And I'm very grateful for that. Thank you very much. Wow. That would shake you up. That would be a bad day. <laughs> wow. Not only was our ID theft unit able to clear up the ID theft issue with Colorado and Michigan, but we just received uh, this letter uh, from the FBI you know, that we will give to you, which states that your record is clear. So. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Thank you. To help prevent identity theft, uh, consumers should check their credit reports at least once a year. Um, and they can go up on uh, www.annualcreditreport.com, and that is free. Uh, they can monitor the credit card and bank account statements monthly. They should avoid carrying extra personal information in wallets or purses. You should shred important documents like bank statements or job applications before discarding them. You should contact the merchant or organization if a bill that is sent to you is never in fact received. Thieves often steal this information from mailboxes. Uh, never reveal personal information to someone who contacts you unexpectedly. And that's probably one of the biggest problems that we see is you scam artists get somebody on the phone and then they, they say they're a bank, they're your bank, they're the IRS, they're someone and they start sucking that information out of you. And too many people, they're nervous on the phone, they're talking to their bank, they're talking to the IRS and they start giving out this information and that's exactly what these, these crooks want. You should regularly update uh, your computer antivirus software. Uh, you should be cautious about clicking on unknown email links. Even if the email comes from a familiar source, it could contain viruses uh, that could infect computers or compromise email accounts. File a police report. Alert credit reporting agencies. Contact your banks or financial providers and contact the Attorney General's office if you are victimized by identity theft. Every year we go back and look at the top ten consumer complaints that we receive. And many of the times they're the same. Uh, but some years we have some changes. Uh, we get thousands of complaints that come into our consumer protection section. Uh, last year we received about 30, a little over 30,000 complaints. 30,000 come into our office. Uh, as you can see from the chart, last year's top three complaint categories were one, motorized vehicles, some problem with a vehicle that's fairly consistent. 
uh, collections, credit reporting, or financial services, and three, do not call violations, which is a new is new into the into the top top three. Most of the motorized vehicle complaints had to do with used cars, uh, vehicle repairs, or consumers not receiving their titles. The collection and reporting category, uh, most complaints were from consumers who were called about debts that they simply did not owe. Uh, and many of the do not call complaints involve robocalls, uh, becoming a huge problem. The remaining top ten categories of consumer complaint, complaints were household goods or property improvement, number four. Number five, uh, internet, phone, or television services. Six, professional services such as tax preparation or funeral. Seven, shopping food or beverages. Eight, sweepstakes or prizes. Nine, entertainment or travel. And ten, health and beauty. We review every complaint. Uh, because those complaints help us determine what businesses may be violating the law. We also review every complaint because, frankly, we try to solve the problem for people if we can. Uh, in most com cases, our complaint resolution process does, in fact, resolve the issue informally. In some cases, complaints that reveal violations of state law will generate legal action. Uh, last year, the Consumer Protection Section filed 53 civil lawsuits for violations of consumer law, nearly doubling the number from the previous year. And in addition to that, as I said, we had, uh, we've had over, over 50 indictments as well. To file a complaint, consumers should call our Help Center toll-free at 1-800-282-0515 or go online at ohioattorneygeneral.gov. While we educate consumers every day on how to be smart uh, consumers, we're happy to get some creative ideas uh, outside this office from bright high school students. Uh, I am pleased to announce the winners of our annual Take Action video contest. Uh, this yearly contest encourages high school students to submit 60-second videos on consumer scams. The 2002 contest received 240 submissions from across the state of Ohio from students in 50 different schools in 26 different counties. Um, we had a lot of good applicants, and the decisions to pick the top three was, was a very, very difficult one. Um, let me now recognize this year's winners. Um, third place winners, junior David Michael and senior Chance Davis are students at Dublin Kaufman High School here in Franklin County. They will split a $1,000 scholarship for their video stopping scholarship scams. You guys want to come on up? And we're going to watch your video. 